Hey, ACG family. It's just me checking in today. Uh, today is January 6, 2011, and um, it's Thursday, and um, I had a 3.4 release. No, was it 3.5? Wait, now I feel really stupid. I'll tell you. It was 3.5! I'm so excited. Um, that was this morning, and I was really happy, and I think my theory is going to prove out. I'm crossing my fingers for tomorrow morning, too, but I'm going to give the credit to the steak. I think my body in craves a harder protein to break down, and that's just what I think. Anyway, um, today I basically repeated what I did yesterday right now. Um, I ate steak and some broccoli and two Melba rounds and an apple. But I went to Earth Fair today and I got a whole bunch of vegetables. I don't know if any of you watch Heavy Dobby. Uh, there's a name dropper right there. She's doing fantabulous. She's in P3 right now. But uh, she showed like she went and tried all these different vegetables or something. So I went and bought, bought a bunch of organic vegetables that I'd never really ate before, like chard and um, radishes. I have had that in my earlier life, but I've never just sat and ate radishes, okay? I went and bought some fennel. I'm going to try to make something with the fennel. I don't know what I'm going to make. I also bought... Um, my hubs is going to come in while I'm making a video. And uh, I also bought some uh, organic chicken broth and beef broth, low sodium and fat free. I couldn't find the beef broth low sodium, so I'm going to have to go back another day. I think it was gone on the shelf where they normally keep that. Um, and I got a few other things. And I found the chocolate hazelnut tea that one of the chi There's a girl on here, an HCG girl, that um, I was watching, and she was talking about the chocolate hazelnut stash tea. And I went and bought that at Earth Fair. But I called the company to find out if there was calories, you guys. And guess what? There is 3.2 calories in an 8-ounce cup of the chocolate hazelnut tea. And uh, anyway, there is less than a carb and all of that. So just so you know, if you were expecting no carbs, there's a carb in that tea. <laughs> hey, hon. Uh, and my honey just came in, and I wanted to make this now so that later I can upload this and I can go to bed early tonight because guess what? I'm going to get my eight hours in, and I am going to rock this weight loss this, this time. I'm going to just knock it out the ballpark because I want this fat off of this body. Um, what else I wanted to say? I also, um, what else did I buy? I bought some other things. I got some organic chicken, too. And, um, let's see. Uh, oh, I got a can of tomatoes that was organic with no, so I think it said low sodium or something like that because I'm going to make a Chunks Chili one day. And guess who that is? Messaging me on Facebook. Hey, Tori. <laughs> I'm going to let you see me in the flesh today. Um, we've been chatting back and forth, haven't we, Tori? And uh, I've had a good chat with HCG. It's got to be me today on the phone. And I miss you, Crystal. And I hope you can get your webcam working. She's back on P2. We actually started webbing, webcamming together uh, about the same weight, about the same time last year. And um, her and her husband uh, have done the protocol and she has an interesting story, and it's not my story to tell, so she's going to probably tell it. And um, it's just been a busy day. My phone has nonstop rung, and uh, it's just been a really exciting day. And I just got a weather alert on my uh, text a while ago that we're getting ready to have winter weather for two more days here. It's crazy. I mean, the snow that fell today is almost gone everywhere, on the ground and everything, but I think they're calling for some stickage in the next couple of days. So, uh, I will have more time, hopefully, to watch some vlogs and catch up on my housework and everything else, but I am excited about this round, and I just wanted to get on here and shout out to everybody. 
I still have a headache today. I think some of it is sinus related. Um, I don't know. I'm just having struggles. Don't know what all that's about. I took a couple of pictures of myself. I ha well, actually, I had my daughter Ashley take a couple of pictures of me today. And uh, one of them, uh, those of you on Facebook, you know if you've looked at my pictures that I have a picture of me in a green shirt that I took at several times um, during the rounds. And so I took one at the beginning of this round, but I'm wearing blue jeans. And Ashley took me in a picture of that today. And uh, so that I can put it in my little uh, Facebook thing and I may show it on here. And um, anyway, I'm just really psyched about this round. And I just want to thank all of you who continually encourage me on here. Uh, there's so many of you. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Ms. Rachel B. Love you, girl. Love your vlogs. I'm so proud of you for getting out there and doing all that you're doing, even though you're practically at your goal weight. And uh, Miss O Angie, baby, love you, Angie. <laughs> uh, and um, who else? Uh, Sammy, twenty nine, twenty nine. I know you're moving, girl, but come on, uh, get on here and vlog as soon as you can. Um, we're wishing and making, you know, thinking of you during this time. Um, there's been some people ask me some questions about what kind of meat do I buy? Because I am doing steak this time. And me and my husband, we go to a grocery store here called Food City. It's very popular in Tennessee. And um, you can go to the clearance end, like where the meats are at the very end will be a section like they reduced it. I, I call it the clearance section, but really it's just the reduced meat section. It's because it's going to go bad like in a day or so. And so we go and we pick out all the best steaks that we can find and we'll buy like 20 to $30 worth of steaks at a time and we'll freeze it or whatever. And what we do is on P2, all I do do is have him use the Montreal steak seasoning and he grills it on our gas grill. Um, that's how I do it. And then I cut it up after the fact, like uh, for the weight and everything. And what I'll do is I'll either cut me a 3.4 ounce or a three ounce steak. And then normally there's some parts on there that you can't eat that's sort of chewy because a lot of these steaks will be like the cheaper steaks, the bottom round, the flank, um, I've bought top round, top sirloin. I've bought New York strips. I don't eat the fatty sections of it. I cut that off uh, during P2, and that's what I eat. So there you go for those who asked. And then I also had some people ask about um, what kind of uh, cl cleaning products, I guess body cleaning products that I use. And it is in some of my other vlogs, but I think I buy this bottle. It's an orange burst, clean and clear. It's for acne, for washing your face. And I actually not only wash my face with that, but I'll use it on my body too on P2. And also this time I went to Earth Fair one day and I had saw a miniature bottle of the Castile soap, the lavender and I bought it. It was like $1.99 for a little one to try it. I had saw V. Marie. If y'all don't know V. Marie, 151 V. Marie or whatever. She is funny as whiz. You need to go watch her videos. I love you, Venus. And um, anyway, uh, go check out her vlogs. Uh, she buys the peppermint. Or somebody gave her a big bottle of the peppermint Castile soap. And it's essential oils. And you can use essential oils when you're on P2. You just shouldn't use other types of oils. It, you should try to avoid it. Now, of course, I'm going to do off protocol tomorrow by getting that couple's massage, and I've already called them, and they use safflower oil and some other, oh, grapeseed oil, she told me. And, um, and they're going to be using essential oils on us. And according to Yolanda, which is Yoli Chula, for y'all who don't know that, um, she's a massage therapist, and she does HCG. Hi, Yolanda. And uh, she also refinishes furniture. So I need to bring her over here someday. <laughs> and um, anyway, uh, she says that she's never gained when, they, when they've done it on her. She literally has problems, though, when she massages people. She has to use mineral oil. And you're allowed to use baby oil, which is mineral oil. So there you go. I use that. And I also buy this soap. It's called Kirk's soap and it's a coconut oil soap. I pay $1.23 at the uh, grocery store where I found it at and um, it does great. 
it's 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 safe to use on P2. And I also use this roll-on deodorant. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's all that BPA-free and everything else free. And it's like a salt rock type stuff. And uh, I don't sweat a lot. Uh, and this deodorant, what I think it works on the principle is it kills the bacteria under your arm. And since I'm not having yeast problems like I used to have, well, I don't have those problems anymore. Anyway, I'm going to add a couple of pictures here. I'm going to get off because it's already 10 minutes. And I love each and every one of you. Oh, and I forgot to say hi to my daughter, my HCG daughter, Beth. Life teeny full. Hi, Beth. Love you. Oh, and thank you, Kathy, for calling me the other day and texting me and asking how I'm doing. And uh, Debbie RN, she's a friend of mine. She came over here. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for answering those questions. Uh, Debbie is a special person too. She she has lots of knowledge and medical medical questions. Lord, okay, take I love you guys. Feet. Peace. Teach them how no. to bring peace. Lord, take my heart. Teach me how to be free. Lord, take my mind. Teach me how I can soar. Lord, take my hands, teach them how to wage war. Teach me.